Alright, man. Torture Talk. I'm back. Part 2. Let's get into this. And everyone's like, oh, she didn't do it on purpose. She didn't do it on purpose, but that means that I've been here for two months and still their subconscious still thinks of me as a girl, and that's really hard. Alright. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta get out of this. You gotta grow the fuck up. You gotta grow the fuck up. People gonna miss fucking gender you. It's gonna happen. You gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop this goofy shit. This is goofy. This is fucking goofy. Like for real. If you listen, walk around with a sign. Because nobody knows. If you look like a woman, they're gonna say you a fucking woman. Like, come on. Like, I expect people to just totally just disregard history. Like, this shit is fucking crazy. Unbelievable, man. So, I don't know if this is considered an unpopular opinion, but if you have a daughter, you need to stop calling her princess if you do. The way that Disney has branded the princess is based on her beauty as her most important. All right, so first of all, <laughs> Disney doesn't run your family. Like, what the fuck is going on here? You're that obsessed? Something happened to you when you was a kid. It had to. Something happened to you when you was a kid. There's no way. There's no way you telling me that it didn't. Something happened to you. Somebody took some dolls from you or something. It had to. An asset. This term also encourages the damsel in distress that needs to be rescued by a man. And it doesn't focus on their intelligence or integrity or any other character trait. Why don't we call girls scientist, engineer, doctor, like... I mean, wouldn't that be the same thing? <laughs> Would you still be following uh, someone's rule or what it is? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. Why does it have to be something cutesy like, oh, princess, what do you need? Like, See, that's, that's your insecurities. That's your insecurities. People should be able to call their like, kids princess and scientists if they wanted to. That's your fucking insecurities. Unfucking believable. Oh, my daughter's father called her princess yesterday, and I had to lecture him again. Oh, hold your fucking horses. Let me run that back. You said you had to do what? Hold up. What? Need like. No, my daughter's father called her princess yesterday and I had to lecture him. Again. Wait a minute. You mean me to lecture him? This, yo, come on. Get the fuck. You, you fucking delusional ass lectured your man on what? On what? I gotta hear it. I gotta hear what, what you lectured him on. I gotta hear this. Because we do not use that term in this house. Even my own sisters have called her princess, and I will tell them, don't call her that. Maybe I come across as very controlling, but I think it's a very... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Bitch, you are really controlling. Are you kidding me? People can't say what they want to say. Oh, don't call my daughter a princess because, I don't know, something might happen. Like, what the fuck's going to happen? Oh, she even feel like she's a devil in distress. And, and, and she, 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 you know, she might think men are going to rescue her. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You sound fucking stupid. You sound fucking stupid and insecure about yourself. 
Like, shut the fuck up. Fucking retarded. Just retarded. Harmful word, and she shouldn't look up to that term. Trying this again because I keep running out of time and fucking up. <laughs> I keep forgetting I can't say certain words on here, so let's try this. Mostly I feel feminine or non-binary. Today I'm feeling really femme. You look confused. You look confused. You look confused. First of all, I don't know what to call you. I have no idea what to call you. And it's no disrespect to you. But you look confusing. Like you really do. What is all this for? And then you expect people to look at you a certain way. You look weird. You look weird. You look weird. And cat-like as well. Yeah. You want to be a cat. You look. But, um, I also feel masculine, mostly boyish. Okay. See, this is my problem with y'all. Y'all go off of just how y'all feel, right? I don't feel the same way you do. So I can't go off of your feelings. You look weird. If I seen you in the street, I would say, what the fuck is going on with her? <laughs> or him? Or whatever. But you look weird. You look fucking weird. What the fuck? You look weird. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I don't ever really want a woohoo. Um, I'm proud to have a uh, hoo ha. <laughs> See, and this is what I mean. Y'all come up with all these terms on what y'all believe something should be. But then when someone says something that y'all don't agree with, y'all cry about it. What is a hoo-hoo and a wee-wee and a school-school? What is all that? What is that? What the fuck is that? I don't want a hoo-hoo, but I do have a hoo-hoo. Like, what the fuck is that? What? You don't want to... Come on, man. But, um... I also, you know, sometimes want to take these guys off, but other times I'm happy to have them. I love to play with them. I love them. Um, other days I want to tape them down. Um, I'm running out of time, but yeah, it's, I go through stages of feeling feminine, non-binary, and sometimes boyish. So that's, I just added, Bob. I mean, I think that the internet has destroyed society because you got people like this and you could be who an individual, you could be whatever you want to be, but you got people like this who basically just spew out anything and they have a huge following and those people follow them and their followers follow them. Oh, don't let your parents tell you you can't be whatever gender. You could be whatever gender you want. Don't listen to your parents. You want to be non-binary? You could be non-binary. If you want to be this, you could be this. If you want to be that, you could be that. It's all about how you feel. Don't listen to your parents. And I already know she's going to say something idiotic. I already know. I, I can I can I could just look at her and tell that she's gonna say something crazy. To my list of pronouns. So here is a very quick tutorial on how to use bug bugs pronouns in sentences. Wait, okay, hold on. Let's go. Hold on. Let me I'm meeting this back. You said what, bitch? Bug to hold on. ish. So that's I just added bug. Ah, uh, see, now y'all going a little bit overboard. You added bug to your pronouns? <laughs> I want to see how, 
let me see how this plays out. Cause this is amazing. So here is a very quick tutorial on how to use bug bugs pronouns in sentences. Okay, let's go. I'm meeting up with my friend Moth later. Uh, bug just oh, died. Oh, see, stop, stop, stop. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is a fucking joke. You're meeting up with your friend Moth later. do anything now <laughs> this shit is crazy <laughs> oh my Here, god and it's this super cool green color right now i think we're gonna go to bug's house and play some video games and then i think bug said that bug wanted to go to the store by bug's self so i'm gonna head out after that and then maybe we'll get to hang out another time i love hanging out with moth bug is a super cool friend and i'm so glad that bug hangs out with me I <laughs> yeah you just got a lot of time on your hands bitch get a fucking job do something you probably do some goofy shit go get a real life do something go go get in trouble do something because you literally are just sitting here thinking of shit to try to i don't know make yourself feel more important and you probably do have a job. I apologize about that. But you really do need to do something. You need to do something. Because I, honestly, I just, I feel so bad, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, that is how you use bug, bug, bug self pronouns. Uh, and I'm always willing to answer questions about my pronouns. Period poverty doesn't just affect women. Two spirits, trans men, non-binary people, and genderqueer people can all have periods. And arguably period- Oh, God. it's time to cut this shit the fuck off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Bitch, what the fuck did you just say? Like, come on, come on, let me run this back. Come on, say that again. Say this dumb shit again. Say it again. Say it again. Please. Period poverty doesn't just affect women. Two spirits, trans men, non binary people, and genderqueer people can all have periods. And arguably, period poverty may be higher in these populations. Here's why. You ever seen a tampon dispenser or a box of free tampons in a men's bathroom? What about a period aisle not labeled feminine hygiene or pink boxes all around it? Period's gonna be a really tough and- This bitch is delusional. She's fucking delusional. You're delusional. Like you really need to be in a psych hospital. You need to talk to a psychiatrist. You really do. Cause you are, you are way off. <laughs> like y'all can't make up your own facts. Y'all gotta stop this. This shit is crazy. Y'all just be making up shit to make yourselves feel good. It is, it's still not real. You're saying that men can have periods. <sighs> Yo! <laughs> this shit is crazy. You can't make this shit up. Oh my God is time for people that aren't cisgender women so if you're donating period products or putting them out in your workplace or school make sure they're in all bathrooms or at least that all people have access to these products where are these guys putting it at if they, if they can have periods where's the blood coming from oh my god like come on where's the blood coming from it's actually excess waste from them not having kids where is it coming from? Where? <laughs> they don't have a birth canal. Where is it coming from? This shit is nuts. <laughs> Unfucking believable, man. Come Blood on. has no gender, baby. This is just your friendly reminder that you are not blessed. You are privileged. Not having. Okay, now, 
She kind of cute. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she all right. But let, let, let's be clear here. You can't say this is a friendly reminder that you're not blessed. You're privileged. So you're privileged. That's what you're saying? Tag blessed, hashtag privileged. So when you post pictures of your beautiful vacation or your healthy children or your lovely home and you write hashtag blessed, you are offensive because you were not chosen as one of God's favorites. You were given opportunities that other people were not. In oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so people can't use bless? They have to use hashtag privilege? So if I have a car and I say, hey, I'm blessed, you're going to say, oh, no, you're privileged. You have a car, so you're privileged? Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on? Being access to health care, a job, health insurance. And there are many people in this world who are oppressed who do not have access or opportunity. To See, this is... is this is what happened. See, the internet, the internet, well, social media. Social media wasn't for adults. It was for teenagers and children and kids. I would say teenagers. Social media was for them to, you know, go back and forth with each other, you know, making their own profile. It's become this, this way of life now. So you got people like her. People like her, who probably is successful, but have nothing else to do but spew whatever is going on in her head that she want to get out because she couldn't say it before. So that's why she's on TikTok. So she could say it now. There's no consequences or no repercussions behind it. She basically could say whatever she want, how she feel, because having a conversation with somebody talking like this, they'll think the bitch was crazy. They say the bitch, you're, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. So she can say it to the world and no one can stop her because they could just comment and that's it. Or she could turn the comments off. Well, I'm gonna say what I want to say. It's kind of like, it's kind of like those people who, uh, these are, these are narcissistic these people are. It's kind of like somebody who plays a practical joke on somebody, but not there to see it. They're not there to see it, but they know in their head something happened. That's how she is to me. That's how she seems to be. Trying to tell somebody they can't say they're blessed because she believes they need to be religious or believe in God the way she believed they should do like it's crazy of the things that you have so you are not some man in the skies favorite because you are better than others you are privileged and that's okay just use your privilege in a positive way and remember that you are not hashtag blessed Dumb shit. this is probably gonna piss off a lot of people but a relationship between a man and a woman is inherently unequal. And that goes for any relationship where someone is deciding to date their oppressor. Just like all white people have racism brainwashed into them, all males have misogyny brainwashed into them. <laughs> So basically you are saying that you're racist. <laughs> I'll tell you, we was just turn the camera on and talk. That's all we do it, right? Okay. It's never never a woman. It's never a woman.
all men have uh, uh, misogyny in their DNA. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Forehead? I got a big forehead too, shit, but we both got some fucking foreheads on us, boy, I tell you. Shut up. And any male who claims not to be a misogynist is a misogynist. Because a self- <laughs> So, so you already drew the conclusion already. <laughs> a man can't just say, hey, <laughs> I'm not a misogynist. I can prove, no, yes you are. Yes you are. You are a misogynist. Well, I can prove I'm not a, yes you are. You are, you, you are a man. It was, it was in your DNA. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, yo, come on. <laughs> man knows that he has it brainwashed into him. And any time that a woman decides to be in a relationship with a man, she's making a sacrifice and a commitment knowing that she's dating her oppressor. Almost. <laughs> A round of applause, yo, for the dumbest shit ever. Give this bitch a round of applause. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, she's dating her oppressor. So you're gonna be single for the rest of your life, unless you're with a woman who one of y'all has to be the leader. So somebody has to be the oppressor. Oh yeah, that's right. You're white, so you have racism. Better than you anyway. <laughs> yo. Yo, I tell you, you just put a camera in front of these people. This is gonna piss a lot of people off. No, bitch, this, you should be pissed off. <laughs> All women have sexual trauma and emotional abuse trauma, literally just from. No, they don't! <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> they don't all have a, a sexual trauma built in them. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what about foreign women who never been to nothing like that? Like what? What? <laughs> Unreal. Society. And she's taking a risk in being with you and making a commitment to help you undo your brainwashing. Now, of course, I'm not saying that people shouldn't date the opposite gender, but a lack of awareness can cause problems. You are saying that. I hate when they fucking do that. I hate when they do that. Well, you say all this negative shit, then at the end you're going to say, well, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that. You just need to be aware. Like, <laughs> you are saying it, Goofy. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Just stand on it. Own it. <laughs> Come on. There is absolutely no reason why Hurricane Ida should have done that much damage to Louisiana and Mississippi and along the path that it's going to take. And Yo. part of the reason... <laughs> I think I reviewed this bit before. <laughs> I did this one before. Yo, you are crazy. This, this bitch said that a hurricane shouldn't have did that much damage. There's no way. It's a hurricane. <laughs> this is a hurricane. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is because there is infrastructural and environmental racism in a lot of minority and low socioeconomic communities. All right. Okay. First of all, first of all, if you're saying that they built black communities in a certain area for it to be destroyed if need be by a hurricane when they don't even know where the hurricane is gonna hit that's st 
stupid. Hurricanes move everywhere. It doesn't matter. And guess what? It don't matter if it's, there's plenty of hurricanes that destroyed communities that were not black. Plenty. There's hurricanes that destroyed <laughs> countries, fuck countries up. There's different parts of natural disasters that fuck up other countries where it wasn't black people. I don't understand why black Americans think that even down to natural disasters where they're trying to get us. <laughs> So would they have a weather machine that pushed the hurricane to the hood? And most of the hood stuff is made. Oh my God, this, oh, come on, man. There's no reason that the southern border of Louisiana should- Listen, just because you stop when you talk, don't mean you're educated. Don't mean you're smart. There's no reason, no, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. will be struggling to figure out what type of infrastructure and technology they can use to prevent minority communities from being destroyed. And on top of that, not just being destroyed, but also having to put in their own resources to rebuild their own Stop. 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 Stop with the put in your own resources. Stop. Who's doing that? Stop. Stop. You know FEMA came through. You know the government came through. You know how this soul system works. Stop with the, oh, they putting their own money up. No, they're not. Stop. Stop. Because if that was the case, you would it would have been everywhere. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Like, wake up and smell the flowers, people, okay? There is race embedded into every decision in the United States of America, and the sooner that we realize that, the sooner we can stop people from dying because of things that could have been prevented. That can't be prevented. <laughs> they don't know when it comes, dummy. <laughs> it can't be prevented. You already know. An earthquake, how can you prevent that? It's going to happen. You can you can try to put things in a place where it's less effective when it happens, but you can't prevent it from happening. It's called a natural Disaster! <laughs> oh my God, like, come on. Something that's been bothering me about the fact that Texas restrictive abortion laws are going in effect today is how a lot of American journalists and, you know, commentators are comparing this to the Taliban and Sharia law. And I just want to point it out, if you don't already know this, if you can't already clock it, this is Islamophobia. What is going on with Texas right now has nothing to do with the racist boogeyman that you've conjured up in your mind. And it has everything to do with the fact that right-wing evangelism caused this. That's it. Point blank period. It has to do with the fact that white people's birth rates are declining. And in a Oh, stop. Bitch, stop. Bitch, just stop. Stop it. What the fuck are you talking about? Stop. Stop. It's, there's billions of people in the world. First of all, in your lifetime, white people are still going to be around. White people are going to be around for the next 50, 60, 100 generations, bitch. What are you talking about? It, do, it doesn't work. You, 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 this is what y'all believe. It's so crazy to me. Y'all think that Everybody, if they, if they, if white people, you know, have children or inner, you know, inner, want intertwine the DNA of white people is going to get weeded out, right? You could say the same thing for black people. You could say the same thing for any race. Because once you interbreed, it just doesn't become one race. There's plenty of people 
who they take the other side of their ancestors. Logic, family, mom and dad, one of them are black and one of them are white. Drake, mom, dad, one of them are black, one, but Drake looks more black. Logic looks more white. That's what's going to happen. You can't think that, oh, you can't, you can't, listen, 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 let's, let's be clear here. You can't think that white people are so scared that they want to keep reproducing and it's the sole reason why they want to stop abortions. No, they want to stop abortions, fucker, because they don't like killing children. That's why. If it don't affect you, then why the fuck are you mad about it? Why do you care? You probably not going to have no kids. Why do you give a fuck? You probably not even ever going to get pregnant. But yet and still, you, you're doing the same shit. Yuck. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Tree where whiteness is power, that is a bad thing to them. Y'all got to stop this. Y'all got to stop this. There's plenty of race in the world. It's not just white people. I wish y'all understand this. Like, y'all so obsessed with racism. It's, go, it's so crazy to me. You brought all day you probably thought about this video and did this video. But you have no solutions. None. You're just a virtue signaler. That's all you are. Unbelievable. It has to do with holding on to the systemic power that they've had for so long that they will do anything, including making sure that they harm women and children to keep the status quo. <laughs> that back because bitch you sound crazy <laughs> let me run that back <laughs> it is bitch yo <laughs> yo listen to this goofy shit <laughs> that they will do anything including making sure that they harm women and children to <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> people's birth rates are declining and in a country where whiteness is power, that is a bad thing to them. It has to do with holding on to the systemic power that they've had for so long that they will do anything, including making sure that they harm women and children to keep the status quo. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so getting an abortion isn't hurting kids? Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you people are crazy. Yo, that's fucking nuts. You literally said that they will do anything to make sure that they harm women and children when you support abortion, <laughs> which literally kills children. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> come the fuck on. This shit is out of control. It has to do with white supremacy. That's why this is happening. Okay, all right. The Republican Party built the Taliban army in Afghanistan, and they're currently building the Taliban army in Texas. That's right, the Texas Taliban is terrorizing women in Texas. They're letting them know- All right, somebody. Somebody, somebody said something to her and she felt like she needed to go say this on TikTok. Somebody said something to her. Somebody probably disrespected her or something. Because that's the only thing I could think of. Because she's, she's, she's wild. If the Taliban rape you and you get pregnant, you have to carry that terrorist baby to term. And if you don't carry that terrorist baby to term, you can be sued $10,000 by the Taliban. And I'm guessing more than one Taliban soldier can sue you. And the Taliban can sue not only the person getting the abortion, 
the person driving them to the abortion. They can sue the doctor that provides the abortion. Don't let them be- Y'all really out here. <laughs> Y'all out here. Y'all really out here. Y'all out here, boy. Oh my God. Y'all you, really fighting for this. Y'all out here. Y'all out here, man. <laughs> Y'all out here. Oh, man. A Taliban army in your state. Make sure you vote in every single election, every single one, because the Republican Taliban army is coming. All right, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe, man. I'm done. I'm done. Shout out to this dude channel, man. Shout out.